If I say tea, what do you think of? A tea party? A steaming pot of Earl Grey? A drink, right? Wrong. The tea is the drama. That everyday teenage angst materialized in gossip, rumor, and fractured relationships. When that tea is hot, look out. When that tea is spilled, though, well, don't be nearby. So how does the tea get spilled? What happens? Why do things that seem utterly inconsequential turn into a viral, life-destroying beast when placed in the teacup of a high school? I wanted to know. So I took a deep look in one such pivotal tea moment. I call it the incident at the pier, and it happened in Los Angeles. So, how did we get here? The LA trip is legendary. It's epic. They say that LA is a once in a lifetime thing, even though some people have gone twice. The trip is organized by the TV class, and the idea is that you'll learn about the TV industry there and be inspired by something. Whatever, everyone knows this to take Instagram pictures and Snapchat your friends. What makes it insta conducive is you're all like, look at me in these palm trees, and like, oh, now I'm just casually hanging out in these sunglasses I just bought. This is my life. What are you doing with yours? I mean, I guess there's just some people who take it seriously, like Crazy H. Crazy H is Grace Harwood, an aspiring vlogger. She plays an important role in this story and she'll come up again, so remember the name. Now one thing that came up in all of our interviews was the roster for this year's trip. For one thing, it was all juniors. That's unusual and important. When the trip has a cross-section of classes, there's respect. A respect born out of unease and unfamiliarity. When it's all one class, they bring their tea with them. And another thing. Everyone was on that trip. I mean, it was loaded. Sabrina, Abby, Austin, Abby. Abby and Sabrina. Austin, Austin, Sabrina. Sabrina, Abby, Austin, Abby, Sabrina. Of course there were others. But those three names, Sabrina, Abby, and Austin, came up on everyone's list. Which makes sense for the most part. Sabrina and Abby were best friends and roommates in LA. It was clear they set the tone and the agenda on the trip. For example, one night, according to several people, the plan was to go to Blaze Pizza. But at the last second, Sabrina and Abby decided everyone would go to Smashburger. You got a lot of followers, I know that. They're like in the five digits. Uh, that probably means you got a lot of influence. There's a Sabrina and Abby at every school. The girls who seem to have it all who can navigate the complex web of relationships and social norms to achieve power at the top. I expected them in their story. What I didn't expect, and what alters their story, Austin. Austin's like, really hot. I'm pretty comfortable saying that. He's a bad boy. Great hair. Ha. Huh. It goes on like that. Maybe it's best to let Austin describe himself. So uh, tell us a bit about yourself. I'm Austin. Hi. Can you elaborate? Yeah. Those are our key players, but let's move on to our key storyteller. Crazy H, the trip vlogger. And other than scraps pulled from social media, it's her videos that give us the most reliable accounts of what happened. She, um, asked me to tell you to subscribe, smash the like button, and, uh, and follow any links in the description on her videos. Here we go. So far, pretty standard. But then, at the Getty Center. I call this the Getty interview, and it's equal parts important and unclear. So I'll leave it to you. Do these two people, Abby and Jamie, look like they're in that giddy, just started dating phase? But I have my, the new lovebirds over here. Jamie, do you love her? Yeah, I love her. What about you, Abby? <laughs> Maybe she just doesn't want to be on camera, but Abby doesn't strike me here as someone who is so in love with her new boyfriend. Jamie, though, He's either in love or not in on the joke. How you read Abby here may be influenced by this text. According to the timestamp, it was at 12.53, while the group was still at the Getty. Now, this is where things start to get complicated, because Austin, well, Austin had had a busy trip. 
Austin was holding hands with like everyone on the trip. He's got the reputation of holding a lot of people's hands. I'm pretty sure if you were a girl at one point you were with Austin. It's kind of impressive when you think about it. There were 17 girls on this trip. And ironically, all but two of them can be reliably linked with Austin, Sabrina and Abby. I haven't forgotten about Sabrina. Based on the available evidence, she and Abby were having a really good time on the trip, most of it together. But there was still some trip left, and on the last day in Santa Monica is where things took a massive turn. We are going to watch the sunset, but it was taking way too long, and we wanted to make sure we made it to the pier, so we left. We were walking on the beach, and we were talking about college, and that's when she told me that she liked Austin. And I said that wasn't really a good idea because he had been holding hands with every girl on the trip. So I was all ready to go on the Ferris wheel with him, and out of nowhere, Sabrina cuts in front of me. I did, I'll admit, I went on the Ferris wheel with him, but I didn't cut, I was pushed, and I would never, ever hold his hand. In the immediate aftermath, what Abby thought was all that matters, she had a post on her Finsta before the Ferris wheel ride was even over. I asked her to read it, even if I can't play much of it. Guess what? It's cause you're a You're gonna get and there's It's just gonna happen, and yes, and yes, you, but hopefully you didn't. And on it went, both the Finsta post and the freshly spilled tea. The fallout was swift and far reaching. Thank God it was the last night. There wasn't a word on the plane. It was so awkward. From talking about being college roommates to no longer being on speaking terms in a matter of minutes. It seems impossible, but as always, there's more. It all goes back to the seventh grade basketball team. She thinks that I'm jealous of her because she made it and I didn't. But in reality, she just cried after the tryout and her dad talked to the coach. I know people can hold a grudge, but I'm not buying this basketball stuff. I mean, two people were going to go so far as to become roommates while still be angry at one another. I don't think so. Another thing I couldn't get past, someone cut in line. Big deal. They couldn't have held hands after the ride and still another. That was Sabrina's plan for revenge, and it worked? It just didn't add up. It was a long shot, but there was one person who might hold the key to figuring all of this out once and for all. Grace, do you have any raw footage of the trip? Did you see my new vlog? Uh, yeah. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Uh, can you get me to the point at the pier where everyone's waiting in line for the Ferris wheel? Sure. Where's the tripod? Hold on a second. Oh, thank you. I really like the red on it. Yeah. And the legs are really cool. Oh, thank you. I really like the red on it. Yeah. So it was you. You pushed her. What? Y you pushed her. I did not push her. Uh, yeah, you did. No, I no, saw no. it was you. Give that camera out of my face. No, no, dude. Yeah. To me, it's crystal clear. Upset that Abby did not reciprocate his feelings, and perhaps a little embarrassed that he had expressed them so plainly on Grazy H's vlog, Jamie conspired to ruin Abby's chances with Austin. Whether the Sabrina Abby friendship would remain collateral damage was up to them. I'm telling you, this is it. This works. Seriously, what's she doing here? Oh, I would have never come if I knew you were coming. Uh, no, please, please, just sit and watch. This explains just about everything. You see, uh, Jamie set this up. He pushed you. That doesn't prove anything. Well, I saw your Finsta post, by the way. Okay, so you still went on the Ferris wheel with him. Well, I'm not the one who asked him. He asked me. And so it goes. I thought that the clip made it an open and shut case. That a villain was found out, a friendship restored, and some positive memories of a trip could be salvaged. What I didn't realize is that not all tea spills are the same. And once that tea is spilled, you'd better not be around, or you're going to get burned.